All right, Brian Hawkins here with Next Step Survival, and I'm gonna show you what's in my EDC bag that I wear every day. Uh, this is generally how I carry it. It's like a sling type bag, but it's a backpack as you just seen in the intro. It's a e-bags slim, although it's not so slim anymore because I have it stuffed full. Um, carry this with me every single day, everywhere I go. Um, I do have a video on my channel with my old range bag that was my EDC bag. Now it's my camera bag. And this is what I was, after that I upgraded to this Maxpedition. So I went and got on a Maxpedition kick and I don't know how much money all this costs, but I've every kind of pouch and accessory you can imagine inside and out. And uh, I just love this bag, but it's a little bit too tactical, honestly. So I was getting questions from people that I know, you know, like joking around, how many guns you have in that thing? Or how'd you fit your AR in there? Or what are you, a, a militia member? That type of thing. And it's just a little bit too tactical looking for everyday carry. So I went ahead and uh, retired this, or actually I repurposed it, and moved to the e-bag slim. And it's, I, don't, I should have took the weight of this before I came out here. I'll, put it on the screen if I if I can remember but it's not that heavy it's easy to carry it's comfortable and uh, doesn't look too bad in the urban type of environment so I'll reposition the camera and show you what's inside all right first of all I'll show you the outside of this thing um, I have a clean canteen 40 quart I only use this for water um, this is not the one that I use for like camping bushcrafting uh, out, outdoor type thing. It's just something I carry. Um, this is pretty cool. I got from a local lady here that wraps uh, a variety of things in paracord. It's, all it is is um, hand sanitizer, a little Coleman whistle, compass, and thermometer. I don't know how accurate that is. And then a uh, Rescue Me windshield breaker or window breaker and uh, seatbelt cutter, CPR mask. I use this for work quite a bit. Um, just a little measuring tape. So all the little gadgets and stuff and the little night eyes, uh, figure eight, those type of things. It doesn't, I still don't think that looks too bad. This is just a little um, cheap lock that I can lock the center part up for if, if I need to. And uh, I guess I'll start down here. So in here I have this is like a hard shell compartment where you would like put your electronics. So inside of here, I have this little cheap camera case, or I think it's a camera case. And then here I have the uh, backtrack from Bushnell. This is what I take out with me in the woods. It's got a little ranger beads on there for practicing raid for uh, distance. And then um, this thing has, he'd been using the original batteries for over a year. It's still showing full battery usage. It works great. Very cheap, uh, very inexpensive Energizer LED headlamp. Then uh, this is just going to be spare batteries for the headlamp. That's it. We're not talking about a whole lot of money here, but it's good stuff to have. Let's toss this stuff over there. Here what I have is some charger for, for that phone right there, or whatever, you know, for USB. And uh, this is a, uh, I think it's 20. twenty twenty thousand uh what is it, mega ohm or something like that? I forgot now. Anyway, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a charger. It's got the fast charger on there for USB fast um, 2.1 and 1.1 I believe. I should have looked this stuff up before beforehand. I use this every day and it's, I've had it for quite a, some time and then a little adapter for 12 volt so I can charge my devices with a car, a house and for and in a outdoor type environment or away from electricity. That's one of two that I have in this kit. Let's see what we got in here. This is empty, but I have this little pouch right here in the front, quick access. Uh, let's see, here in this, this pouch here, I have two things. I have just cheap 
snap-on uh, multi-tool with the fire standard multi-tool type thing. It's inexpensive. And here I have some batteries, uh, one, one AA and four AAAs, earplugs, Vaseline. Most of you probably realize this is good for more than using Vaseline, but fire starting. Ibuprofen, gum, more earplugs, backup, toothpicks. I just threw this in there, the little survival thing that comes with Gerber products. A little hair, th hair tie I stole from my wife. It's good for like wrapping things. These are the, this is just for work related. I'm a truck driver and this is the gaskets that go in our airlines. Little uh, screwdriver for tightening glasses, repairing them in a little emergency 40 amp fuse. That's all that I have in here. A lot of this stuff isn't survival stuff. It's things that I might use in a day, you know, from one day to the next, which is the whole point. I had an EDC bag, right? Um, that's Excedrin. Those are my uh, ulcer and pills. This little thing here, probably can't see that lighting up in the day. It's flashing now. Probably still can't see it. This thing here just attaches to something on here. Oh, this, this just screws onto here. I keep it in my bag so I don't, because it comes off pretty easy. But if I'm having to walk at night on the side of the road, click that button, it's flashing light so I don't get run down. Same thing here. I can, I know you won't be able to see this because this is real dim in, in the daytime, but a little night eyes, so this attaches to the pack of my pack with this little S beaner here does the same thing. I can also put it on the front of me so somebody can see me walking on the side of the road. Dust mask, M95 I believe, and then some medical dust masks or face shields. Uh, light my fire titanium fork and spoon. More hand sanitizer. Spare butt wipe, dude wipe. Got my dog's evidence all over the place here. Wet ones, aqua tabs, um, uh, water, water purification tabs is what that is. A little piece of rope, a couple pieces of rope that I like to practice uh, not tying with, with with this. I've got a really cool app on the phone that, uh, that helps out with that too. Have some spare time, just practice knots. A little bit of Kleenex. And that's it for that pouch, I think. I feel something in there. Oh, that's just the key thing. I don't have anything on that. Uh, space pin, Fisher space pin. So another Fisher space pin, and this is like a little big stick here pin. Um, toilet paper, a pretty large uh, mylar blanket. Um, wet wipes sealed, they're still wet, they're still damp inside of a Ziploc bag. Um, little uh, cheap hand, uh, what do you call these, uh, little gloves, you know, protective gloves if you have to help somebody uh, and they're maybe bleeding out and you don't want to risk infecting yourself with body, bodily fluids. Next pouch, now this has this admin pouch right here, which is pretty, orga you know, nice organization. Then you got this quick access. Then you have, and they don't zip all the way like clamshell, but they do open up like on two sides. So I'll do the first side first. This right here, little pouch, various food. This is uh, something I got from a, an ad, a Facebook ad, American Natural Food, Superfoods. It's like a protein, vanilla flavor. You just drop that in your in your water bottle and uh, fill it with water. And supposedly you have some superfood there. Atkins bars, paleo bar, protein bar, and a muscle muscle milk. And that's that's it for the food, I think.
Yep. But again, this is something I just carry with me to work or wherever I go around, around town. This isn't designed as a 72 hour bag or bug out bag or anything like that. This right here is another battery source. This one here, I believe, is 52. 5200 mega ohms or whatever it's called. Just more, more power for electronic device using USB. And then my uh, Amazon Kindle. Pretty decent um, high output LED flashlight. Pretty powerful actually. And in uh, here I have a cheap but quality uh, fixed blade knife. It's um, called the Fang from uh, TRS. I believe that's it for this this section. Oh no, I got one more. I think this is the Larry or the Little Larry or something from Nebo. Oh, the Big Larry. And uh, it's pretty bright. Again, it probably won't show very well here. But uh, it's got high output. Takes three double A's. Uh, tourniquet. Spare gloves. Spare wool socks. What do we call this thing? I forgot. Uh, Bacalo or something like that. It's just a, just a little hood with a face shield built into it. This is, we're moving into the winter months here in Michigan. So I updated a little bit for more winter. I have, you know, the regular coat, jacket, um, boots, all that type of thing in every vehicle. There's a little scarf there. This, this is just a, uh, a waterproof bag that I got just throw on the back of this in case I have to hike at home or something in the snow or rain I just throw this over there and help protect the bag as far as I know it's not waterproof local map some hand warmers a couple of uh, 50 gallon or 40 gallon I'll show the contractor bags let's save this for last here now Look at these back up real quick so I can get some footing on this thing. It also has another third pocket in the middle of those, which is just a shallow little quick access pocket. Some people might put their EDC hand carry in there. I have a little Maxpedition wallet. Um, I, I carry a different wallet on me, but this is just for things that I would want, items that I would want that I don't use every day, like credit cards. This is just a little attached to that spare keys again not part of my everyday carry things that I would carry on my person but I might want a spare pair of glasses some keys that I just it just got to be too much but a little tracker so it's got a little cube tracker on there so if my bag disappears I can use the phone app to try to locate it I got Peterbilt at work to spare key to that and a little light carabiner Spare mag for my Glock 26. I actually have on me now, so and you can't even really tell. That, even though I got my sexy suit on right now, little USB device loaded. It's encrypted with uh, medical information, document, personal documents, that type of thing. Extra pin. A couple of uh, uh, gold, gold round or I mean silver rounds and silver points. And I think that's about it for the bag. Well, I hope that all came out. I just realized I dro had dropped my my uh, microphone. It came loose, but this is an emergency kit that I have put together, and I have another video entirely on this, so I'm not going to dump this whole thing out. But if I had to leave everything away, if I had just to take off a run, didn't have room or couldn't carry all this, this was what I would grab, this little little kit and again it's all civilianized it's not tactical whatsoever I have some some uh, glow lights in here cheap water filter from Occupure a little high beam uh, LED light some paracord a little tactical um, 
folding knife with a glass breaker, seat belt cutter, uh, light my fire, trail rod, little magnesium bar with a P38 attached to it, a big lighter. These are a little, uh, what do you call them? Um, uh, uh, iodine capsule and uh, the alcohol thing that, or whatever that is that you break open and help wake somebody up that's unconscious. I can't really think of it. Some more Aquatab water purific purification tablets. Spare batteries for this flashlight. <clears throat> some uh, Uh, some more of my medicine, some uh, waterproof matches, little little tea light candle there. This is some uh, bank line here. I think I'm saying that right. It's the tar type of cordage, a little bandana, and a, a cheap uh, uh, mylar mylar bag or mylar blanket. This is uh, just some, um, not duct tape, but the other stuff. I forgot what we call that. Gorilla tape. Uh, cheap compass. It's actually pretty decent. Little spot mirror. This is the type of thing that would go on, you know, on the outside of your car. I just threw it in there for signaling. And that's about it for this little kit here and this is very easy to carry and it's not very much money and uh, it's a nice nice bag to grab so so that's it that's about all we got in that whole kit there all gray man got a little dirty from this uh, improvised table here from this just plywood falling apart but anyway that's what we got and uh, I hope that helps you if you have any questions feel free to uh, uh, post them below. All right, Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival. We'll see you. Bye now.